hidden from sight all around us, is a whole kingdom of life that connects everything on the planet. It is the kingdom of fungi. It's estimated there are four to five million species of fungus on the planet. But so far, scientists have only documented around 150,000 of them. In a forest, no tree can live outside water without fungi. No plant on earth can synthesize the nutrients from the soil that they need without the help of fungi. And without fungi, no bread, no beer, no wine, no cheese, no yogurt, no chocolate, no soy sauce, and no forests. Without forests, no oxygen, you know, no environment as we know it. Many of these mushrooms have the potential to feed us. There are those that possess the power to cure us, and some will poison us. The Balapara Foundation is on a mission to find out more. In 2018, we did something that has never been done before. We started the important task of documenting the fungi in the forests of the eastern Himalayas. Are these edible? Do you eat these? Yes. Yes. Yeah. First we talked to the experts, local people, who shared the knowledge their parents and grandparents have passed on Adam to them. Mother, they told me. Balipara Foundation have always been really interested in auditing the biodiversity that we have in the eastern Himalayas. And we've always been focused on documenting the kind of trees that are found, trees, ferns, shrubs that are found in the pre-existing forests. And we've never really thought about fungi. It's a beautiful big coral fungus. Till, till the point in time when we actually came across news that quite a few people in the area had been poisoned. By the end of this first kind of survey trip of the biodiversity, we hope to have a basic knowledge of the kind of mushrooms that grow, of the kind of mushrooms that are being consumed by people and maybe also the kind of mushrooms that have been consumed by people and have resulted in poisoning. In Yunnan in China, the mountain tribes use over 900 species of fungus. The economic value of mushrooms in this region, it's a billion dollars a year. It's mostly wild harvested and traded. They export it all around the world. It sustains numerous rural communities across the region. Uh, this is the mastaki. It's a very prized mushroom in here. The price is one kilo, uh, 500 yuan. The interesting stat is over the last six years, every one in five species we collect is actually a new species to science. It's not even known yet. The forests of the eastern Himalayas of India are also a hot spot for fungi. Uh, so they are different species, but both are edible. If we can find more edible species, it could become an important protein source for India. She said this, is, this one is also a tasty mushroom. So the major source of protein in this part of the world uh, are legumes. But legumes, unfortunately, do not provide for as much protein as is required during a normal course of development. And we've also gone through two reports which talk about how this sort of malnourishment during the early years of growth affects mental growth in adults, you know, which is, which is a very, very important part of a fully formed human being. Do you eat these? I eat it. You do? In phase one of Balapara Foundation's fungi project, we documented 232 species in just four weeks. It is edible. Chilim. Chilim. Guides from the tribal people of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and Meghalaya showed us 58 varieties of edible fungi that they already use as a delicious protein source in their diet. This is titkambu. These edible? Yes, these are, in fact, these are very tasty and in the market they have a very high price. We also documented 64 species that could be used for medicine. This is a Ganoderma that is used quite extensively overseas, so it can be quite valuable, particularly when it's collected in the wild. And 34 of the species we recorded are new to science. With 64% of the forest cover still intact in the eastern Himalayas, we are in a unique position to create a new, low-tech, low-cost, 
fungi future. The vision for the next phase of Balapara Foundation's fungi project is twofold. First, we want to help villagers safely collect, eat and create a market for forest fungi, adding this important protein source to their diet to combat malnutrition. To do this, we'll connect up the local experts with the fungi scientists to produce field guides and run village-based workshops. The second goal of phase two is for Balapara to produce quality fungi spawn and assist villagers to grow their own mushrooms. So mushrooms can be promoted as a high protein source for a normal diet. Also could form one very integral part of this new land restoration plan where people are involved in the restoration of habitat but also are growing mushrooms which give them a form of self-sufficiency in their diet but also a source of revenue. So how much, how much total do you get out of one bag? One, one half kg. One and a half, yeah. up to one and a half kilograms. Yes. For 20 days, then you will gain rupees, 10,000 10, rupees per month. 10,000 rupees per, per month. month. Yeah. So, so mushrooms would be one of the many things which we would be trying to, to promote in the hope for community-based conservation of our forests. Yeah.